page two. First one is some particle diagrams relating mass, volume, and density. Mass is how much matter is in an object. Uh, all those dots are all said to be the same size. Volume is how much space something occupies. Density is a mathematical term, the relationship for, of mass to volume, but we can view it as how tightly packed these things are together. So let's look at mass first. The mass of A versus B. If I counted all the dots in A versus all the dots in B, B has more dots. Um, so has more dots, so more mass. How about A versus C? Even though they're the same size box, C has more dots. So A is greater than C. It has more dots. Volume is how much space something occupies. So when we're comparing A versus B, A is less than B. B occupies more space. B occupies more space. We don't have numbers, so we can't calculate it. We just have to explain the concept. But A is equal to C. Um, they are the same size box. The boxes occupies the same space. Now for the density. We don't, we can't really make any great calculations with these densities. We just simply look at how neatly they're arranged or how they're arranged. So even though A and B are different size boxes with different numbers, the ratio of mass to volume is the same because they're arranged the same. So the density of A and the density of B, they are equal. They are arranged the same. But dense objects, if you have the same amount of mass packed into a tighter space, for instance, C is greater than A, or A is less than C, because the in C, particles are packed tighter. The next one gives me lots of information about lots of substances. But I only have to be concerned for this first one is sketching a graph of mass versus volume, which is density, for one of them is aluminum and one of them is silver. So this one is important to me and this one is also important to me. So that is the density or the, the relationship of its mass to its volume. Another way of looking at that is I have to have a slope of 2.7 and a slope of 10.5. But about the easiest way to graph um, aluminum with a slope of 2.7 is to, um, I'm going to take this number and I, I'm going to make sure that it passes through 40, 30, 20, 10. Should be a zero down there, shouldn't there? Um, I'm going to make sure it passes through there. But what I need to do is, um, Okay, I fixed my graph there. <clears throat> so aluminum needs to have 2.7 grams per one milliliter. It would be hard to go down into this area and try to find where one meets 2.7. So what I'm going to do is pick a different point, and I'm just going to say 10 times as much. 2.7 times 10 is 27 grams per 10 milliliters. It's the same ratio. So I find where 27, 10, 20, 10, 20, probably about here, meets 10, and I'm going to put a dot right about there, and I'll simply draw a line through there and say aluminum. I don't need a straight edge. Silver will be similar, but instead of 10.5 grams per one milliliter, I'm going to times by 10, so I'm going to do 105 grams per 10 milliliter. I'm putting a dot way up here, so that it would have a slope. Any point I picked would have a slope of about 